What's going on guys, Tom and Amazing here at Valk, another video, and in today's video guys, I wanted to do an updated gem guide for Action Time in because the one year anniversary is going to be coming up in about a week and a bit, um, it's going to be coming out on October 6th, so about, actually no, about two weeks from now, right? Um, so I wanted to let you guys know the best places to get diamonds, everywhere you can get diamonds, and uh, you know, you should start saving now because uh, stuff's going to be dropping during the anniversary, so let's hop in. Alright, so the first place you can get diamonds in action time and in is gonna be in your special mode So special mode is a way you can get diamonds every single day um, Every single every five hours you get three diamonds, right? Because um, you do one of these like little mini game clears So you have the option of doing the Yukikaze Gosha um, Shooting gallery and then you also have the Asagi bridge race So either one you do regardless of what you do um, You'll always get three gems if you complete it So for this example, I'll do the uh, Asagi bridge race um, we'll complete it uh, pretty quick here and then uh, we'll get the three diamonds and I'll show you how long the cooldown is for it because you can do it multiple times a day. Um, it's not just like, you know, one time a day type of thing. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's get to finishing the Asagi Bridge race here. Yeah, usually I like doing the uh, the Yukikaze Gosha one because you only need 5k points and then you're done and then at that point you can just wait the timer out or you could just, you know, keep going. Uh, but the Asagi one, you kind of just have to, you know, get your, your get to the end usually it takes about a minute and a half a minute ish like you know generally um depending on like how many obstacles you hit or whatever the case but regardless like the moment you pass the finish line you get three gems regardless of like like how how badly you got hurt whatever the case so just make sure to complete this every single day whenever you get the chance three diamonds a day um it's not even three diamonds a day it's like what because you do it every six hours six twelve eighteen twenty four so that's what 12 gems a day like guaranteed if you do it uh every single time so um it's definitely worth it you know uh 12 gems a day in within 24 hours so i highly recommend doing this every single day if you can um just to get your uh, gems up like you know over time because it's definitely gonna help um but yeah let's just get through this we're almost done we're at about a minute in we're almost at the finish line yeah so it around like a minute like 15 a minute 30 you know like when you can uh, complete it like yeah i'll finish it about like a minute 15 minute 10 right so that's if you don't take any obstacles you get through the, uh, the entire thing completely um and yeah and then you get your three gems so yeah that's how you get the three gems from special mode and then you're gonna see here that uh if i go back to quest and i go to special mode it's gonna take six hours before i can do it again uh, but you can do it every six hours so regardless of the day every six hours you're gonna be able to do special mode um, so that's going to be really good. You can be able to get 12 gems a day from that. Um, so now we'll move on to story mode. So story mode is going to give you a lot of gems if you guys have not completed it at all yet. Um, you get 150 gems per chapter, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Because you get, uh, if I'm not mistaken, because you get 10 gems per clear, right? You get 10 gems per difficulty clear. So 5, 10, 15. So that's 150 gems, right? 150 gems per chapter. That's a lot. Um, if we really add it up here, I'd have to get my calculator. Alright, so if I was to calculate this, um, since there's 15 chapters in action time, then you'd take 150, you'd multiply it by 15, and we would get 2,250 gems in action time in just from completing story. So if you can complete all of story in action time in, um, every single difficulty, by the way, so if you complete easy, normal, hard, um, on every single difficulty up to chapter 15, you're going to be able to get 2,250 gems, um, to, you know, fund your, whatever your, whatever your summons, your, your characters, whatever the case is going to help a lot of people during the anniversary, especially if they're new because um, you can be able to get a lot of gems through just the story mode the next place you can be able to get gems it's not like a crazy amount but uh you know there is an option is going to be your daily hard quest um because every time you clear one of these stages you get 10 so you're going to be able to get what 30 gems um from this one right here you're going to be able to get 30 from this one 30 from this one 30 from this one so that's about 120 gems just from the daily quests um in and of itself so if you do like the easy normal hard um the 10 gems per clear and you can do three difficulties per stage so that's going to be 30 gems per st uh like actual like you know um daily quest there um the next place you're going to be able to get gems is going to be your event so depending on what what events out at the time of recording you know um we have like this one right now the ca no captain supporters only um i don't think there there was yeah so there was some gems like in in the exchange shop for this one um usually they have like a point event for action time when they release stuff like that um so you know usually it's just like you you get a bunch of you know um or not a point event a gotcha event you get like a bunch of like tickets you summon on the gotcha you get a bunch of like, you know you either get gems you get a supporter 
you get gacha coins that's usually what action timing it gets in terms of content um for an event so you usually get gems like that way um with this event here i was supposed to grind uh, like you know each color so i was able to get uh, time three gems uh, five times so that's 15 gems 15 gems 15 gems that's uh 45 gems right there and then we also got like a bunch of tickets from this event as well so like you know if you are playing the game right now definitely make sure to get this event done because you get a ur gotcha ticket uh, voucher which lets you choose between either or um really good like you know uh other than like gems and stuff right um and then you know gotcha coins are gotcha ticket you guys get the gist so like really good events usually give you a lot of gems and like bonus hard um i think the bonus stages in those uh gotcha events also give a lot as well you have to correct me if i'm wrong but um I forgot if they give like a lot of gems or not. I don't know if they give. But yeah, so moving on. The next place you can get gems is going to be in Arena. So if you go to the Battle Arena here and you actually score high in PvP, you, uh, depending on your rank, you can actually get, uh, you know, gems here. So since I'm in Gold uh, 10 here, the weekly reset just happened, um, I'm going to get 50 gems a week. I need to grind back up to top class, which is usually like, um, that's kind of like the bar that everyone gets to, like if they're going to be getting gems every single week. 75 gems a week is not too hard to get to top class, not like literally 95% of your matches in pvp and in action timing are bot matches so regardless of who you're facing um you're usually beating your opponent right uh, unless it's like someone with like uh the uh all red stars on their character that's how you know it's like a real player and you're probably gonna lose but you know generally um you shouldn't it shouldn't be that hard to get into top class so that's another 75 gems on top of um all the gems you're already getting right and then you know if you are try hard and you don't mind pushing you can get up to 300 gems if you get rank one and 10,000 of the uh pvp points right there so like you know that's an option as well um if you do want to push but uh you know generally 75 gems for your pvp um that's a good amount of gems you can get every single week the next place you're going to get gems is going to be in prologue stage so prologue stage you're going to be getting 10 gems per clear here so you get about 150 gems total because you do get 10 gems per clear uh on each difficulty which has five stages so 5 10 15 150 there you go right so you know because you times it by 10 so that's going to be 150 gems in the prologue stages prologue stages by the way are really good for leveling up your characters so if you are trying to level up characters definitely make sure you do it in prologue stages you get the most amount of xp in prologue stage and you're gonna be able to level up your characters pretty quick so moving on the next place you're gonna be able to get it is arena tower if you are a long time player you've probably already completed the arena tower at this point um but if you're a brand new player and you're starting action timing in um the arena tower has a lot of gems for you to actually claim man it is a little bit of a end game content type of thing um this is the hardest content in action timing in, in my opinion um so once you've completed this there isn't really any hard content at that point um other than like you know event bonus stages and stuff but um here you go you get 30 gems here uh, if we keep scrolling up, you're going to get more. You get 40 gems there. Um, you get 50 gems there. You know what I mean? Like, you get 60 gems. It just keeps going up and up. 80 gems. Um, 100 gems on floor. 28. Yeah, like, it, it starts ramping up, man. 120 gems. 140. 160. You know what I mean? Like, that's really good. 200 at floor 48, which is almost the final floor right there. Like, you get a lot of gems in Arena Tower. And if you do have a built-up character, um, definitely give Arena Tower a try. Um, you can also get these, like, friend voucher things. So, like, these things right here with your friend points. So, if you were to go to the shop and you were to go to friend point exchange, if you wanted to get, like, someone's friend, uh, someone on your friend list to actually use to help you get through the tower, you can buy these correspondent messages with your friend points, which is not a bad idea. Uh, but I'd kind of just recommend tell you, like when you get your character up to just try it that way um because that's like at the end of the day well that's what i had to do um and I, I recommend that's probably the better way if you want to save friend points and go for the friend boxes um but yeah it's definitely an option if you do need help in the tower but uh yeah that's going to be another way to get gems the next way to get gems is going to be your weekly so every single week you're going to get weekly missions here my weekly missions are going to end in about three days but i've already completed all the weekly missions that are available you get about what is this so that's what like 60 gems a week uh on top of this 10 you get from this so that's 70 gems from your weeklies um just off the rip and you also get you know like ap potions you get bb potions gold accelerators like it's really good man definitely make sure to do your weeklies um obviously the each of them have their like their own tasks that you have to do and you can get this done within a day you don't even need to like you know the only thing you'd have to wait for would be the login bonus but everything else you can get done in a day so if you want to get your gems um definitely make sure to complete all this stuff for the weekly mission 
the next place you're going to be able to get gems is going to be the golden pass so depending on if you buy the golden pass or not you still can get gems it's just going to be a little bit less in comparison so where is the gems here yeah so right at the end here so if you do not buy the, the, the battle pass you're going to be getting 50 gems at the end of this um i don't think they give any other gems yeah they don't give any other gems unless you buy the the, the battle pass here or the golden pass so initially you're only going to get 50 gems but if you do buy the golden pass you're going to get a 100 gems extra so on top of that you get 150 gems total um if you do buy the golden pass if you do not buy it you're only going to be getting 50 which is not the not the greatest um but you do still get like you know a ur gotcha ticket supporter you get a weapon uh ticket like it's really good the the, the free to play golden pass is actually not the worst in, in terms of rewards it gives you so definitely make sure to clear that the next place you're gonna be able to get gems in action timing in is gonna be through your character. So if you go to your character supporters, um, right, if you go to your supporters, they're gonna have an intimacy level. So as you can see, my Yagani Yuna is actually at zero intimacy. So how are you gonna be able to increase that? You're gonna have to actually use that supporter um on one of your characters. So I don't know if I have any at the moment uh that are not uh, uh into in, in uh intimacy max here. Um, because I know Yagani Yuna isn't, but like if there's another character I have here that isn't Intimacy Max, I can show it as an example. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess this would be the main example of my Yagani Yuna. But um, basically how it works is you're going to be able to get a total of 50 gems for every supporter you have on, on your account. Now, regardless of what the supporter is, um, if they are UR supporter, they're going to be giving you 50 gems total from Intimacy. I don't know if SR supporters are not gave. Um, thing, I kind of forgot. Um, you guys correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong about that, but, uh, I know for sure that, uh, UR supporters actually do give gems, um, for their intimacy, regardless if, the, uh, if they're free to play or if they're pay to play. So just remember that. So 50 gems always, the way you increase your intimacy is by using the supporter on your actual timing and characters. So you slap Yagini Yuna on a character, you use it a little bit, you get level one, uh, intimacy, you get five gems, you get five gems, 10 gems, 10 gems, 20 gems at max. And every single supporter that's a UR supporter will give you gems so you if you have a ton of them easy clap man that's a lot of gems you can have for your for your box and you're gonna be able to get a, a, a decent chunk of it um just from your supporters right there all right the next place you can actually get gems is gonna be from your milestone mission so your achievements so basically depending on what achievements you have as options to do um you're gonna be able to get gems from them so some of them do give gems like it obviously depends on like which ones you clear right um it's not always gonna be like um you get gems from every single achievement whatever the case um it obviously just depends on the character like some some give you a lot um it, it depends on like how much characters you have too because a lot of them are like based on using a character like advanced shiranui which i don't know i don't have shiranui at all um advanced obero right um as an option so there's definitely like you know ways you can go about getting gems through the achievements and there's a lot of gems you can get through achievements so um i definitely recommend if you're just playing the game you'll naturally get this over time but this achievement bar up here is going to be really good in terms of giving you gems um because every time you fill this achievement milestone bar you're going to be getting a bunch of gems from it um so if i clear another uh let's see like if i clear like like this uh right here if i was to complete any quest with sue 200 times i get 60 of this 60 plus this is going to be enough to pass me past the 250 or uh 25,000 milestone and i'm going to be getting 50 gems from that so that's like you know ways you can kind of think about it and go about getting gems through your achievements um but that's definitely a way to go with it right there the next place you're actually going to be able to get gems is going to be from the login bonus so if you go to the login bonus you are going to be able to get 40 gems just from logging in on your natural daily login during the anniversary we will be getting more more gems as login bonus usually it's about like what like 200 um I, if i'm not mistaken like i'll have to pull up the screenshot again um but i know for sure it's a decent chunk of gems that you actually get just from the anniversary login so not including the regular login bonus right um so there's that but uh yeah that's kind of just like generally how you get um your gems from uh, login bonus right there all right, so I think I've covered basically every uh, place in Action Time and you can actually get gems for your characters. Um, every other place you can get gems is going to be through paid, like, you know, uh, things I, if I'm not mistaken. Like, there's obviously, like, things you can do. Uh, but if you want to, like, you know, my best recommendation is if you want to get a pack that's, like, really, really good, um, I'd recommend the monthly pass right here. For 30 days, you get 50 gems off the rip and then 13 gems a day. For only, like, $4, that's not the worst, you know, if you guys do plan on spending. And then if you want to get the uh, heavy pack, which I would recommend personally um you know it kind of sucks the way they marketed it um where it gives you like an extra slot and stuff i think that's kind of bullshit but regardless it does give you 2200 gems for about like what is it like i think uh usd it's like 30 dollars which you know to be fair that is four multis worth 
right that is four multis worth an action time and in standards and you also get mileage points as well so in if you really think about it it's not the worst bomb in terms of your gems so i definitely recommend if you plan on buying on this game definitely get the heavy um and the monthly pass as well and then obviously your starter packs are going to be really good too if you do plan on buying your jump package startup uh rank up thing is going to be really good you get a lot of gems from this as well um but yeah that's kind of just like you know nitty gritty you don't really need to get all that stuff that's just if you really are down bad on gems and you want to purchase gems do not purchase just straight up gems from this because it's not the best it's not the best value at all obviously all of it will be through the packages so that's gonna be it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe as always if you guys want to see more videos like this and if i left out any ways that you guys can get gems let me know in the comment section below and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace out and have a great rest of your day